Hey guitar enthusiast, Lauren Bateman here. We're gonna do a great classic by Semisonic called Closing Time. Such a fun song to play on the guitar. Let's get into the lesson video. I used to love teaching this song in groups because there's this really cool little picking part, which I'm gonna show you in this lesson video. And there's also a really cool strumming pattern. Now, the great thing about this song is that the chord progression is very repetitive, pretty much for the entire song, with the exception of the bridge section where something different happens, but we'll go over that. So if you need to find the chord chart for this song, go to laurenbateman.com. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can go check that out and follow along with me here. Now, the first thing I'm gonna go over is kind of the intro and this little motif that keeps coming in. It's just a little picking part. And some people find this fun to play, especially if you're playing with someone else. And it's basically played over the chord progression. And this is what it sounds like. It's So if you're familiar with the song, you probably know how to do this, or you might not know how to do it, but you've heard it before. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna take our first finger on the 12th fret of the guitar, okay? And we're gonna bar. That means this first finger is gonna play two strings at the same time. And it's gonna be the G string and the B string, okay? So those are the two strings that we are going to be barring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be alternating are picking in between these two strings. Hear that? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And it's on eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So the first note that we're gonna play outside of those double twelves is the 15th note on the B string. And the other note we're gonna incorporate is the 13th note on the B string. So what it's gonna be is it's gonna be 12th fret B, G, B, G, 15, back up to G, lift your pinky, B, G. Okay, so it's ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. So you only play that 15 once. You pick it and then you're right back off, back onto the 12th fret. So again, that's da-dum, da-dum, 15, da -dum. And then you repeat that again, except the second time through, you throw the 13th note, uh, the 13th fret on the B string. So it's ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And again, lift that 13th, uh, that finger right up on the 13th fret. So, so all together, ba -dum, 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 ba -dum. So that's how you play that little intro part. Let me just go in for a very fast close-up so that you guys can see my fingers up close. All right, here I am at my hummingbird, marking my 12th fret here. All right, so I've got 12. Pinky reaching to 15 on the B string. Lift up the pinky. And then repeat again. 13. Oops, 13. Lift up the 13th fret. So here it is all together. Let's see if I can get my picking hand in here so you can see everything. Ready? So you just see my picking hand doing this down, up, down, up in between those two strings. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that little intro section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you guys see more videos just like this one. Let's get into the verse. All right, so that picking part is super cool, but now we're gonna talk about the chord progression, the chords we're using, and what strumming pattern we're gonna use if you wanna strum on your guitar. So I'm on an acoustic, but this song I think is more played on an electric, but that's what I got in my hand and that's what I like to use is my acoustic. So the chord progression, we need G, D, A minor, C, and that's it. It just keeps repeating that the entire song. Now each of these chords is two beats, okay? So you have G for two beats, D for two beats, A minor for two beats, and C for two beats. But that's it. That's the chord progression for the entire part of the song, except when we get to the bridge because something else different happens. So I'm gonna give you a couple strumming pattern options. This way you guys can play at either more of a beginner level or maybe a little bit more of an intermediate level. 
So the most basic way to do this is just to go down, down, up for each chord. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. All right. So we're just doing down, down, up for each of the chords. That's the simplest way to do it if you are a beginner. The next way to do it, and probably the way they're doing it in the song, and there is a little bit of improvisation, so sometimes he hits an extra strum on the end, sometimes he doesn't if you listen very carefully, but this is what I hear a lot happening in this song. So we have down, 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 up. So we have a 16th note, so it's one, two, and a, and that's the first chord. The first chord is gonna be down, 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 up. Again, down, 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 up. Now the second chord is gonna be down, up, down, down. Three, E, and four. Three, E, and four. Down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, down. Okay, sometimes he hits the and, sometimes he goes three, E, and four, and. Every once in a while you'll hear that. Whichever you get, that's fine. So the whole strumming pattern would be one, two, and a three, E, and four. 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 Okay, if I play that a little bit more up to speed, it'll sound like this. One, two, and a three, E, and four. One, two, and a three, E, and four. One, two, and a three, E, and four. One, two, and a three, E, and four, and a... So again, if you want to throw in those extra strums on the end, you can. I think he's improvising, so sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. I think on the chorus, he definitely throws that in more. So let's talk about that on the chorus. So while the chord progression doesn't change here, I want to give you guys an option for this chorus because if you listen to the song, he's playing an electric guitar and there's a lot of kind of percussive strumming coming in. You hear a lot of, a lot of this. So I want to give you the option to do that. Now, if you're just, you know, kind of that beginner, beginner to late stage, you don't know bar chords yet, don't worry. For this part of the song, all I want you to do is play open chords and the strumming pattern you can use is the same as before. We're just going to throw a down up on the end. So it's going to be one, two, and a three, key and four, and a one, two, and a three, key and four, and a one, two, and a three, key and four, and a one, So that's what you can do for this chorus section if you don't know bar chords yet. But if you do know bar chords, we're going to get into a little bit of percussive strumming here. If you guys are interested in learning more about intermediate guitar strumming, I do have an intermediate strumming course. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to go check that out. Talk a lot about accent and rhythm, percussive rhythms, kind of stuff we're doing in this video here. So go check that out if you're interested. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be switching over to bar chords here on the chorus. Why would we do that as opposed to the open chords? Well, with the bar chords, I can get percussive. Hear that? So what I'm doing is I'm pulsing my fretting hand. When I squeeze the chord, the strings ring through. When I let go of the chord, I get this kind of deaded, I call it a chicka chicka. Chicka chicka. I hear it a lot in, in rock music. So if you don't know bar chords, no worries, but if you do, this is pretty cool. So the strumming pattern is gonna stay the same. And all we're doing is instead of playing a G open chord, we're playing a G bar chord here at the third fret. And we got down, 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 up. And now when we go to this D bar chord, which is the fifth fret of the uh, um, on the A string, I'm gonna do down, up, down. I'm not gonna. Hear that? Nothing's ringing through. I'm not going. I could go down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down, 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 up, down, down, up. Did you hear that? So the first three strums, down, up, down, I'm not squeezing the bar chord so I get this kind of percussive sound. So it's 
Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. All right, now when we go to A minor, which is on the fifth fret here. Down, 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 up. Down, up, down, 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 up. So this is kind of what it's going to sound like if you throw in some of this percussive strumming. One, two, one, two, three, four. So it sounds much cooler, has a lot more dynamics to it. Kind of definitely a very intermediate level thing to do because one, you have to know bar chords. Two, you have to have your, your rhythm hand relaxed so that you can do the percussive rhythms. You have to be able to release and relax your fretting hand. Lots of cool stuff, but sounds so cool if you can do that and throw that in. So let's go to our bridge next where something interesting happens in the song. So very briefly in this bridge, we get a key change. And unfortunately, there is a B flat bar chord. Okay, really interesting sound. So we just came out of this chorus where we're going. So it sounds like it's like a totally different change from what we've been doing before. So let's talk about how we'll strum this part. Hey everybody, real quick, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video because it helps YouTube show more of my videos to students just like you. Let's get back into the video. So the way I'm going to, to strum this is we're going to be alternating between the B flat and the G chord. And eventually we do jump back into the regular progression. So it's going to be down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. That's the only change we're gonna do for this bridge. Now, if that's too much for you and too weird of a timing, just hold the chords. One, two, three, four, and. Now the G, you can hear, it is switching a little bit early. One, two, three, and four, and. So it's changing on the and of the four. So we have this little bit of a hop, but that's all you can do. You can do one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two. That's an easy way to do it. Again, if you don't know that B flat, just ignore it. And then when it comes back in, it jumps right back into. So there you go guys, that is Closing Time by Semisonic with a few variations for beginners, um, but a little bit more of an intermediate level song, especially if you're gonna throw in the bar chords, then it's totally in the intermediate realm. If you're just gonna do the open chords, you could consider it more of like a late beginner song, but very, very, very cool song, especially if you throw in that percussive strumming. Thanks so much for watching, make sure to give me a thumbs up on the video, really appreciate that. YouTube's gonna throw up a couple more videos over here, go check those out. Also, don't forget, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to my guitar courses. Go check those out if you're looking to expand upon your guitar playing, and I'll see you guys in another lesson video.